Hi everyone, welcome to this brand new lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can install Anaconda on a Windows computer. So to get started with the Anaconda, you need to search here Anaconda. In Google, you search Anaconda, you will get this link where it is written www.anaconda.com. You need to open this link. After opening this link, you can get here a download option. It depends if you are using a Windows computer, you will automatically get here a Windows download button. If you are using Ubuntu or Mac OS, you will get the download for Ubuntu and Mac OS. You need to simply click that once it will automatically start downloading depending on your internet speed. It may take a few minutes to few seconds. Uh, my internet is quite fast. That's why it took less than 20 seconds. Otherwise, if you have slow internet, it might take like one minutes or five minutes. Depends on the speed. Once it is downloaded, then you need to click on that. And uh, if you don't find that here, you can simply come and see this here. Since I had already clicked that once, so it took some time in the background to start the installation there. Now, the installation of the Anaconda 3 has started here. All right, perfect. Now you need to click on next. And I agree with the license agreement. I'm gonna just say that install it just for me and then next. And now this is going to install at this particular address. See you just KGP Talkie and Anaconda 3. Then click on next. Thereafter, I'm saying that add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable because I want to use this Anaconda as my default uh, uh, Python package there. So this Anaconda will be added to the path so that you can use the Anaconda with the Anaconda prompt as well as your command terminal. Let's click on install. It is going to install your Anaconda. It will take a few minutes to complete this installation. I'm just going to wait to finish this installation. All right, Anaconda installation is complete here. Let's next uh, click on here. Thereafter, uh, click on next and then just go ahead and finish that. Uh, it will open their uh, Anaconda tutorial, although we don't want that. So Anaconda has uh, already installed here. Let's go ahead and open the Anaconda there. So I'm just going to search here the Anaconda. Now you will get here Anaconda Navigator. All right. Perfect. So the first time once you open the Anaconda Navigator, it is going to register your path with the windows. It will take some time to initialize the first time. The, from the second time, it will be quite fast. All right. Now, do you see there Anaconda Navigator have so many applications here? Uh, all the applications are uh, not installed by default, like here Orange 3 PyCharm. Uh, VS Code also doesn't come as a pre-installed. I had already installed. That's why here it is showing as launch. So we are going to launch here a Jupyter Notebook. Click on here launch. It is going to open this Jupyter Notebook in a default directory. Although we don't want to launch our Jupyter Notebook from there. So what we will do, we will just, uh, uh, you know, uh, close this one. And uh, in fact, we will open our uh, windows terminal so let's go ahead and open here a windows terminal if you don't have this terminal you can download it from the windows store otherwise you can open here a command prompt whatever is good to you you can open that one thereafter i'm gonna say here conda in it the first time so you need to do that the conda in it the conda initialization has been uh, done here thereafter I'm gonna say here conda activate base that's the base I'm gonna activate here so now you see there do you see there this the base one that's the, the conda base uh, environment is activated here thereafter I need to go into a download download directory so I'm gonna just go into change directory into downloads thereafter i'm gonna say here jupyter 
notebook so if you write here a jupyter notebook it is going to open a jupyter notebook all right so do you see here a jupyter notebook is open and now the default directory is a download directory so in the download directory we don't have any files other than this file that's what you are seeing here so i'm just going to delete this file now you will see there this file will be also deleted from here let's go ahead and zoom this a little so that you can see it clearly what is happening here all right perfect so let's go ahead and create a new jupyter notebook in a python 3 kernel the one thing i should also tell you that if you install Anaconda, it will automatically install so many libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn. All these libraries automatically gets as the pre-installed library with the Anaconda. So you can simply import those libraries like import Pandas as PD, then import NumPy as NP, then import Seaborn as sns all these libraries you can you know import directly into your jupyter notebook because these libraries comes as the pre-installed with the anaconda but if you are looking for high-end libraries like the tensorflow and the pytorch those doesn't come as the pre-installed those you need to install separately for example if you want to import here a pytorch you will find that this module not found and similarly, if you want to import here a TensorFlow, the TensorFlow is also not found. So for, for installing the TensorFlow and the PyTorch, you need to install TensorFlow and the PyTorch separately, which we will see in next lecture. All right, I'll see you then.